Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about recording your Zoom sessions. Now this can be a bit of a complicated topic because there are a lot of different ways that this can go depending on what kind of computer you're using. I'm going to do my very best though to try to break it down and make it simple to understand for you. The other thing that I want to mention is this is an important topic since one of the things we have to do is record all of our live interactions with students. So the first thing is when you are scheduling a meeting, when you're setting one of those up, your meeting options down at the bottom will include the option to record the meeting automatically. We highly recommend that you always check this. That way you don't have to manually remember to start a recording once you start your Zoom session. It'll just automatically happen in the background and prevents accidents from happening. Now, once you select that, you will notice that I get two options over here. Do I want to record this meeting and have it saved on my local computer? or do I want it saved in the cloud? Now I'm making this video right now on a Windows computer. So I have both of these options available to me. I can have it saved on my local computer or I can have Zoom save it up in their cloud on the Zoom server. Either one of these things is fine for me to pick. If you're on a Windows or a Mac computer, both options will be available to you. Special note though, if you're using a Chromebook to record and to facilitate your Zoom meetings, if you as the teacher are using the Chromebook, you definitely wanna select in the cloud. On the local computer is not an option on Chromebook, so you're gonna need to select in the cloud as your recording option. Now I'm gonna break both of these things down. Let's pretend right now that we're gonna record on the local computer. I think this is the most common way that most people will choose to do it. And if you're on a Windows or a Mac computer, this is what I would recommend. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And I have this meeting now established and it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and start this meeting. When I start this meeting, no matter which one of those two options I picked, you will notice that it's going to start the recording automatically. So over here, let's go ahead and kick this thing off and boom, our Zoom meeting is happening. And I want you to notice up here in the upper left-hand corner, it says that it's automatically recording. Now remember, I selected on my local computer. So when this recording is done, it's going to take the video file and it's going to save it onto my computer. Let's go ahead and test that out. I'm going to press end. I'm going to end this meeting for all. And you'll notice over here it says convert meeting recording. It's doing some rendering in the background. Now, my meeting was only a minute. It wasn't, you know, 55 minutes long. So that went pretty quickly. The next question that you probably have is, okay, now I know that it's saved onto my computer, but where the heck is it? I'm on a Windows desktop right now, and this is my personal computer. So you'll notice I've got a whole bunch of different folders and a whole bunch of different options. If you um, just pick the default option, I wanna show you where Zoom saves its, um, its, its files. So I'm gonna go over here and I want you to notice that my documents folder has been opened automatically. And I want you to notice that Zoom has created a folder in there called Zoom. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more and you're gonna notice every time I host a meeting, Zoom is creating a new folder for that meeting. It has the date stamp and the time stamp over here, as well as the name of the meeting. So this is why it's helpful to name your meetings different things to be able to tell them apart. Here is the one that it just created for this recording that I made. To save this recording, all I need to do is click OK, and it will save my recording into this folder. Now, if you don't want it there, if you want it saved somewhere else, you can do that. Now is the time to do it. So maybe you want it to be saved onto the desktop. You would just click desktop and click OK, and then it would save your meeting onto the desktop. That's fine if you're doing a, one recording here or there, but if you're gonna be recording a lot, kind of like I am, you're probably gonna wanna use that Zoom folder and have everything saved in there. So you've got options, and this may look a little different depending on what your computer looks like that you're using to save all these things. Regardless, once you figure out where you want it saved, click the OK button, and that meeting recording is now saved in that folder. So let's go check that out. Let's figure out where that folder is. I am going to go open up my folder icon on my computer, and I remember that it was saved in the Documents folder. So I'm gonna go open up Documents, and boom, here it is. I have a, a folder called Zoom, and when I open that up, all of my Zoom recordings are saved here and they're all in chronological order. Here's the one that I just did. It's my period three meeting and I've got the date and the timestamp there. And if I open this up, I wanna show you that there are a couple of things in this folder. First of all, up here at the top, you'll notice one that says audio only. That is a recording of just the audio of the Zoom session. This would be a good thing to post up if you needed to post a recording of what we did today. Um, this would be a good way to make sure that we're complying with student data privacy. 
But if you wanted to post something up, audio only is one that you could use for here. You also have this file over here that says zoom underscore zero, and this is my video file from today's session. So both of these are saved onto my computer, and they are um, they will just kind of accrue here throughout all of the distance um, learning and distance teaching that I'm doing over time. So that's the first place that you can find those files. I'm going to go ahead and close this now. And let's go ahead and talk about um, if you choose to record to the cloud instead. If you record your meetings to the Zoom cloud, you don't have to worry about navigating the desktop folders and stuff like that. Where will your Zoom meetings be? They will all be saved over here in the recordings part on the left-hand side of your screen. So if you click recordings, you will see a list of all of the cloud recordings you've ever done. So here's cloud recordings. Here are all of those recordings. So here's one I did a little bit earlier with period two. And you'll notice there are two files that were recorded. I'm going to go ahead and click this and open it up. And you'll notice over here, if I click play, I can watch back the video that I recorded back when I did this earlier. So this is a fine way to be able to preview the videos and see what we did in each one of those. All right, I'm going to close out of this. And I want to show you now down below this, you will see that there are two versions here. There is a, a shared screen with speaker view. So this is the video. There's the little video icon. And then here's the audio only version of that recording. So just like we had if we did the local version, we've got both things available over here on the Zoom dashboard. Now, here's the hiccup. When I click recordings, you will notice I have a lot of recordings here, but all of these things are just a couple of minutes long. You do have limited storage available on the Zoom cloud. So since we're going to be recording lots of sessions, you also need to know how to take these cloud recordings and download them so that you can back them up. There's not going to be enough room in the cloud recording for all of your recording sessions to be there. You will start to, once this starts to fill up, fill up, you will get some email notifications that say, hey, you're running out of room. And when you get that, you need to come in here and make sure that you download all of these past recordings and save them somewhere so that they don't get overridden since we have to save all of our recordings. But no worries, I'm going to show you how to do that. So over here, let's say we want to download the period two recordings. I'm going to go over here to two files, click this, and then you'll notice one of the options that I get right here is to download these two files. If I click that button, it will download for me the audio only version right here and the video version right over here. So now I can take these two that it just downloaded and I can either go find it in the downloads folder on my computer or since they're over here in my web browser, I could just take these and drag these to the desktop if I want. So it's very easy to get them downloaded from Zoom and put them on your computer. But I know what you're thinking. I don't want all of these videos and all these audio files taking up space on my computer either. Where can I put these things so that they will be safe and they'll be accessible if I ever need to go back and get a video, but they won't be clogging up all of my local storage? The best solution for that is to use Google Drive. Your storage in Google Drive is unlimited, so you won't run into that issue of, oh man, I'm running out of room, I'm running out of storage space. So here's what I would do, whether you're doing local recordings or cloud recordings. I would go over to your Google Drive and I would create a new folder and call that new folder something like Zoom Recordings. Once you have that folder established and you open it up, you'll notice you have nothing in here right now, but you can start to upload all of your local recordings to your Google Drive, or you can download any of your Zoom cloud recordings to your computer and then upload them to your Google Drive afterwards. Let me show you two ways to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at one of these files that I downloaded earlier. So here is the video file that I downloaded from, I'm going to move it over here in the upper left hand corner. This is the one that I downloaded from Zoom in the cloud. I brought it over here onto my desktop and now I can just click and drag to bring it from my desktop and to move it over here into Google Drive. So two step process, go over to your Zoom cloud recordings dashboard, download your files so that they're on your computer and then upload them over here to Google Drive. Now that I've done that, I can go back and delete this from my computer. I don't need it locally anymore. It's backed up and saved over here inside Zoom. I could do the same thing over here now with this audio file as well, drag and drop and put it in here. Now, since you're gonna have a lot of files, you'll probably wanna add some subfolders here. You might wanna go in 
and right click on this and then rename these files so that it's something that's a little bit easier to trace and follow. Naming convention is totally up to you, but if you want them backed up in your Google Drive, this is a good way to do it. Now, what if you're doing all of your recordings locally on your computer? Can you upload them to your Google Drive as well? Yes, you could do the same drag and drop thing, or you could also go to new, you could go to new and pull down to file upload. And when you click file upload, you're going to get that same interface that we were in before. Where did my Zoom files get saved? They were in my documents folder. They were in this Zoom fo or this folder called Zoom. I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna scroll down and find the one that we just did a few minutes ago. I'm gonna open this up. There's my audio only. I'm gonna go ahead and click open and it's gonna upload the audio only for me. I could do the same thing here. New, file, upload, and then also get my Zoom file from today as well. So that's the method to either record to the cloud or record on your local computer. And then once you've done either one of those recordings, this is also the method that you can use to get these files into Google Drive if that's where you'd like to save everything uh, for the remainder of this teaching term. I hope this video helps and I hope you're able to get something out of it.